Hello everyone. I'm getting ready to make some cookies for my husband's work. I'm going to make uh, the Betty Crocker chocolate chip in the packet. Simple and easy. Don't have to mix no things up yourself. Just it's all right here ready to go. Um, I'm putting black walnuts in it so I'm making black walnut chocolate chip cookies. I'm not sure if you ever tasted the black walnuts. They're a lot different from English walnuts. They have a different taste. I love them. I've loved them since I was a young girl. My mother used to make black walnut cakes, black walnut pound cakes, and they were just awesome. So um, I was going to try to make a black walnut cake, but I still may because I've got plenty of black walnuts here. But for right now, we're going to make some chocolate chip black walnut cookies. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I got to do is preheat the oven to 375 degrees. So let me go ahead and do that. <laughs> okay, set this over here, and um, let's get our chocolate chip uh, mix open. You know, it says you don't even have to use a mixer. This is how easy this is. Okay, and I've got one pan here, and I'm sure I'm going to have to probably cook two batches. Um, I need to order me a couple more of these. Um, a stick of margarine and one egg and it says um, stir cookie mix softened butter and egg in a medium bowl until the soft dough forms and uh, drop dough by rounded teaspoons or tablespoons depending on what size cookies that you want so I'm going to use tablespoons so let me Get my little taste, but I'm gonna rinse them off. Because they've been hanging, hanging up there over my stove, and they probably got a little dusties. You know what I mean? Probably got a little dusties. Then these pretty though, I just love them. I got my initial. They're pretty. And I bought my BFF a, a set, and hers has an A. See the S. Right there. They're pretty. I love them. Okay. All right. Let's get our trash over here to the side. All right. Next thing we're going to do is try to find something to start with. I guess I'll use a wooden spoon. And let's open up our plant butter. This is the um, Country Crock Plant Butter, the um, avocado one. So this has zero cholesterol. Zero. And it, look at it. It's just like butter, I'm telling y'all. Y'all seen that lady on TV that's make makes those pies and she uses this and she still wins blue ribbons. <laughs> she still uses her blue ribbons. Hold on, I'll lick my finger. That's a habit. Okay. Now, let's, uh, I got to crack this egg because I have to pick out the yellow thing, okay? So let me do that right quick. The coffee I drank this morning has made me super duper nervous. Because <laughs> I'm like, duh. I had two cups. I should have only had one. Let me pick out this white thing. There it goes. All right, set that to the side. Now let's uh, let's beat this up before we get started. Okay. I don't know how that butter and this egg is going to mix up all of that that cookie mix. It's like I need a cup of milk or something. <laughs> Let's pour that in. And let's get it all. I'm actually using the jumbo egg. Whoops. That made a nice little mess. I'll get that up later. Um, I, buy, I buy jumbo eggs to make deviled eggs with at Christmas time because this makes a great big nice uh, deviled egg. And um, that's what I'm using, a jumbo egg. Really? This is going to mix up. Huh? No. I don't think so. <laughs> what do you think? Get over here where you can see it. I was probably out of frame the whole time. 
Oh no, this is not going to work. How is this going to work? Well, it is kind of coming together, I guess. Just got to make sure that your butter, you know, is room temp, which mine was. I'm going to go ahead and open the black walnuts. Get out my sizzles. I guess I'm just going to sprinkle them in here. Uh, we'll put a bunch because I want people to be able to taste them. Okay. Look, they got a bunch of them left. I love these things. Let me have a bite. Yum, yum. Mm, so good. That's Christmas right there. Mmm. That is Christmas. Mmm. Yes, it is. My mama used to make those. She used to make those big old black walnut cakes at Christmas time. And they were so good with hot chocolate and coffee. Oh, my God. And it, and the the as the days went by, like three or four days went by after the cake was made, it was even better. It was. Got better every day. The cake did. All right. Well, this seems to be coming together pretty good. So let me get right back to you. Okay, I got it mixed up, and I'm just gonna spoon out tablespoonfuls. I need another spoon. On to here. I'm not really not gonna. I'm really not going to make them perfectly round because they'll probably get that way anyway. So I'm going to scoop and scoop. Just like that. Okay? When I get them all done, I'll be right back. Okay, here they are. There's what? 3, 6, 9, 12. And then I'll do the other 12 after these get done in about, I think it said 12 minutes. Okay, everyone, here they are. I did the soft batch recipe so they wouldn't get real brown. But, yeah, they feel real gooey and ooey. I haven't tasted a one yet, but they really look good, don't they? So, here they are. Black walnut chocolate chip cookies. Delicious. Super easy recipe. You ain't got to mess up your mixer. You ain't got to do nothing. And these are just as good as if you made them from scratch. To me, they are. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, just right quick, I wanted to show you that they're chewy and gooey and ooey. Right there's a black walnut, right there. Right there. So let's, let's taste. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious, perfect. 